What's going on YouTube? This is John from the Unhinged Zombie Hunter Clan bringing you a Galaxy Eyes Photon deck from my friend Joe from the Zephyr War Games crew. Hello. And he's going to take you through his ga perfect Galaxy Eyes deck. And without further ado, Joe, let's crack on to the, into the deck. Oh yes, my god, I, I'm differing. I played this today. Um, it did pretty well for something I haven't been playtesting with properly. Um, fully um, it did one win, two loss, and a draw. So the ratio has been pretty good. Um, I think the only issue is that I didn't have um, staple things in, from my side deck and the main deck because again, I wasn't prepared to play it today but I just changed the deck choice in the last minute. Um, so things like Cool Butter Graves and Ash Blossoms you won't be seeing in the main deck which they should be. Um, so the deck is going to need a lot of testing so I'm now thinking of playing this next time. So with all that's been done, let's crack into it. So we have Oris three Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragons, you need three copies. Um, two you could probably manage um, with, but throughout today I needed three copies at all times. Because um, it's your consistency as a level eight, also consistency for your combos. Uh, three Galaxy Knight, um, you can put also drop this down to two if you want to, if it suits you. Um, but I felt three is very handy for some of the cards in the deck. Uh, free Galaxy Knight in the place where he belongs. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, free Galaxy with um, soldiers. Um, you need to play free soldiers, it's your consistency. Um, so sorry for you budget players out there. Um, soldiers still the most expensive card in the deck. Um, free Galaxy Wizards, um, again, more consistency, such as any Galaxy card when um, you tribute it and you can make him level 8. So that's the end of the Galaxy Monsters for Photons. You have your three flashes, um, one of the best starters in the deck other than Sanctuary. Um, just being able to summon your Galaxy Knight without tributing and going to rank 8 is handy. Um, only two copies of Vanisher, you can probably bump this to 3 if you want to. So as you can see, ratios in this deck are all um, up to personal preference. But at, uh, two Vanishers is very handy. Um, helps you go into your XCs, rank 4s and your link plays as well as being able to search Galaxy Eyes and add it to your hand. Uh, the next expensive card in the deck is Photon Orbital. Uh, you need to play three of this as such as all of your Galaxy. Uh, Photon or Galaxy Monsters when you send it as an equip card and you can equip to a Photon or Galaxy from your hand to it and give it 500 attack and protection. The last monster in the deck is Galaxy Cleric. Um, it's just your mini pot of Avarice on summon. Normal special summon, you can target five photon or galaxy cards in your graveyards, shuffle them into your deck, and draw two cards. But you can also attach it from your hand to a photon or galaxy as an overlay unit. Uh, so that's the end of the monsters for spells. Three photon sanctuary, probably like the best card in the deck now, just because it's a one card link monster um, for this deck. Being able to get two tokens, 2000 attack, uh, light attributes, very, very good. Um, only two expeditions, you don't need three. Three can brick you so badly. Um, you only need two. You'll see it when you'll see it more than enough. Um, plus you can search in multiple ways. Uh, one variety because we play warriors. Three trading because we have six level eight monsters. Mm -hmm. Two pot of desires because uh, more consistency is good. Though you could probably play without it. Um, if you wanted to find a way to put the Cool Vino Graves and the Ash Blossoms in. Uh, two copies of Galaxy Trans because like the mini soul charging deck, busted busted card. The only issue with it is that it locks you into galaxies and photons for the whole turn, not just for the rest of the turn. So if you summon Cyber Dragon Infinity, you can't play this at all because it says for the, the turn, not for the rest of the turn. Uh, but being able to get an instant rank 4 or rank 8 or even a link monster or just a cost of 2,000 is just too good. And we play three revival, extra revival spells of one Galaxy Zero, one Monster Three Board, and one Soul Charge. I do play three traps in here, but they can be taken out easily. Two Tachyon Transmigrations and one Eternal Galaxy. Uh, these are all just these three are just like fun gimmick texts I wanted to try out, see how they go. Tachyon Transmigration being able to negate everything in the chain link. Um, for just having a galaxy item play is just stupid. And uh, Eternal Galaxy is just a fun gimmick card that combos well with one of the Caesars in Mitra deck. Um, just being able to turn that into a rank 8 is um, pretty nice, but that can be taken out easily. 
for your cool wallet grays or ash blossoms. Uh, extra deck is um, one for armor um, photon dragon and um, for the popping beat stick. Uh, one cycle blade for the popping and the obvious beat stick, but also being able to revive Cypher Dragon when it's destroyed. Two copies of number 90, it's the one you'll go into the most in, in your first turn plays. Uh, it's a negation for monster effects by detaching a galaxy card, um, you can then destroy it as well. Um, but also during the opponent's turn you can either add a photon or galaxy card from your deck to your hand or adapt it as overlay unit. Uh, one Felgrand for another rank 8 option along with the Titanic Galaxy which I didn't actually make that today. Um, but I did make Tachyon twice today which was very very fun but very very handy as well. Um, just being able to negate everything on the field and then get multiple attacks in there if your opponent misplays. Or has mandatory effects, not, not Donald. Um, funny. Um, yeah, so Tachyon's actually pretty fun. Uh, the Cyber Package of Infinity and Nova. Two rank fours in the form of Stylish Photon Blast Dragon. This guy gives you protection for your monster 2000 or more attack. He can't protect himself on a standard base, but you do have things like Photon Orbital and Hip Hyosian to buff him up to 23 so he can start protecting himself as well from targets and destruction. But also being able to special summon the Galaxy Eyes from your hand, no, from your grave or banished. Um, by detaching material is really good. And one Star Leech Lord Galaxion, it's a really nice tech in the deck because you can just make it to level fours, which is very easy. And then you can either summon Galaxy Eyes from your hand if you have it, multiple copies, or detach two and summon one from the deck. Then you can start getting into your rank eights. And then thing, playing Eternal Galaxy after that, you can then turn Galaxion into a um, Titanic Galaxy for spell negations. And to mount up the extra deck, two Link Monsters of Hypiosion and two Galaxy Eyes Soul Flare Dragons. I've been hearing stories that this guy's being played in um, ABC, which is actually really interesting. I'll have to look around for that, see what's um, the idea for that, um, see what's going on. But a uh, really, really strong card. Um, it's just so easy to summon, re-splashable really multiple decks if you're light based, so blue eyes players you can probably play this as well. Because um, um, his material says two light monsters, but only one has to be over two, uh, 2,000 or more attack. Um, they don't both have to be. Hmm. So that guys is the deck. Really nice and simple, you just play three copies of mostly everything, that's a combo card. Um, mm -hmm. You just help you get into your rank into your XXT's plays as well as your Link plays. This deck can make Link pause as well very easily, so if you have the Bowl monsters, you can easily put them into the deck as well. I was tempting to take out Hit Piosian actually today and put in the Bowl uh, just for that strong Link 4 option. Right, thank you Joe. Right, thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe if you are new. Please, if you've already been a member of this channel for a long time, please remember to leave a like and leave a comment on the channel. It helps out a ton. Also, feel free to check out the crew at Zephyr War Games. Like I said, there will be a link to their channel in the description down below and their Facebook page. So make sure to check them all out. Also, if you want to check out the rest of my Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profiles that have been made so far, there will be a link in the description down below. And thank you for watching. So don't forget to keep joining and enter the friends. Goodbye.